Rescue Pet is on your Christmas wish list. You're not alone. Here with some helpful information about making your search a successful one is Larissa. Yes, thank you. you know, this know about is, this. This is sure. the time of year that us rescuers love and hate. Love yeah. because a lot of adoptions take place before yep. the holidays. Hate because a lot of people still opt to going to pet stores or breeders and buying animals that really Aww. will most likely, I hate to say it, but end up in shelters and rescues in a few months because people go all in and then go, oh no, what did I do? Right. And right. then, you know, I also like to say never gift a pet. Always make sure it's a it's a decision that's well thought out. It is a lifetime commitment. It will always give us is. great tips. Okay. So starting with this checklist, one of the first things that you say that we all have to do when we want to uh, consider a rescue pet is to start our search early. Yes, a lot of people think, okay, I want a dog. I'm gonna go get one right now. Let's make it happen. Right. It doesn't usually happen that okay. easily, especially when it comes to rescues, because shelters, again, take in a lot of dogs, lots of volume, and cats, and they aren't quite as picky when it comes to who will adopt out from okay. them. But rescue organizations are a little bit choosier with the animals they take in because they invest a lot of money and time into them. They're also a little choosy with the people that they want to take on their animals. Okay. It's their babies. So it can be a little bit of a process that you have to go through with applications and getting a home check and all that. So don't don't think that just because you've decided today, it's going to happen today. You want to start early. Start going to your rescues and shelters. And one place that I absolutely love is Pet Finder. We talk about it a lot. It's a yeah. website, PetFinder.com. Now, when you go to it, you can decide if you're looking for a dog or a cat. You can also decide where you want to search. So here you are. You type in your zip code. We've decided to look for cats. You can also even make your search even better by adding criteria that's even more specific, male or female, age special needs. It will populate a lot of animals in your area that fit what you want. You can look at each of their profile and find the rescue that they're at. Then you can contact that rescue to get more information. Okay. Pet Finder is just the website that kind of aggre aggregates, I think uh, that's, the yeah, word, that's the word, all, all of, of the rescues and they do a lot of help themselves but then you contact each individual rescue to find out Great their, their okay. requirements. And when you do contact those rescues you say it's very important to pay attention to the yes. requirements that the rescues ask for because there are yes. different requirements for each one. Yes, I mean, I've had 15-year-olds get frustrated because they've decided they want to rescue a puppy and no rescue will allow a 15-year-old to rescue a puppy. So I say go online, go to each rescue's website, find out what they require that their adopters have. Maybe it's an age, maybe you have to be 21 or over. Maybe you have to live in a certain area, like this rescue that we work with sometimes only allows uh, adopt adopters to live 15 mile radius from where they're located. Oh. That way, if there's an issue, they are close by. Also, we have ones that say, you know, you have to bring your animal in to meet a potential animal that you want to rescue, as long as they're fully vetted and spayed and neutered as well. This one says you have to be 21 and to bring your own cat or dog carrier in with you. So I promise you, if you've, again, decided you're all geared up, you're going to go rescue an animal and you show up, you're only going to get frustrated because you didn't right. read what is necessary. Yeah. And every rescue has their own checklist when it comes to what they will adopt out to. So do your research before. That way you can go and make it happy and successful right, and, and not get scary. frustrated and I mean, this, these tips and this checklist if you will <laughs> is saving people a lot of time here so and we appreciate trust it. me I get so many emails yeah. of people that are annoyed and I get it yeah. but th that's why I'm trying to help know, you're getting all worked up right now <laughs> yeah. it's amazing it's I mean Lewis is going okay now obviously on the websites we're going to see a lot of information <laughs> about the pets that we're interested in but you say it's really important for us to go make a personal visit as well this is something I can't stress enough especially if you want a specific breed or you want a special need like a hypo allergenic dog or a dog that maybe um, you know is is better trained to help with kids things like that build a relationship with the rescues in your area don't just email them don't just send in an application because trust me they get thousands of sure. them and a lot of them are run by volunteers so they've got normal jobs and they do this on the side so you can't pro promise that any individual application is going to get their attention so a I say find every avenue Facebook Instagram email call them you know, spread the word that you're interested, but meet with them in person, talk to them on the phone, make sure they know who you are and what you're looking for. And that way, even if they don't have an animal at that moment, you're gonna come to mind if one comes through their doors because they know you, they want nothing more than to find families exactly. that they know they can trust. Right. So exactly. make yourself make sure stand works. out. Okay, now a lot of uh, rescues require home checks. When you hear the word home check, 
people probably get nervous and they yeah. think, oh my gosh, is my home suited for a pet or are they going to not allow me to do this? Yeah. What does a home check entail? Uh, are about? they going to look through my bank accounts? <laughs> what do they need to right. know? I mean, it's, it's a little intimidating. When yeah, you like I'm letting someone in my house. So I did home checks for a while for a couple different rescues and it's not as scary as it sounds. Basically, there are a few things they're looking for. They want to make sure that the pet seems happy and comfortable in your home, of course, first and foremost. They also want to make sure that the surrounding area is secure. You're outside if you live, you know, up against a mountain. So here we have like a high fence, which also has a guard on it. There's a, that was my side area where I had to add higher fencing just because I have coyotes in my area. Also want to make sure that your windows are secure. And if there's any, um, any furniture that a dog, there's Piggly, can get on. And then if there's no, uh, uh, what's it Screen. called? Screens that they can get out. Screen, so it's sure. things like that that you wouldn't necessarily think of, but actually are pretty common sense. And they just want to make sure that the dog is happy or cat and that it's in a secure surrounding, you know, home. So it's not, don't points. be freaked out. No, you're so good. <laughs> this is so, so helpful, everybody. More information, hallmarkchannel.com. Also go to Larissa's website, savedbythel.com as well.